to me, my swing uh, over time, I've ultimately looked for more consistency. Really flat right there. That's traditional Ricky move. Really produces a, a pretty consistent ball flight. I've always been a good ball striker, but it may have gone a little up and down and not as been as consistent as I would like. I've always tried to get that to be more consistent. Swing your swing. It's a classic quote from one of Ricky Fowler's idols, Arnold Palmer, and it reflects Fowler's own swing, which has carried him across 11 years on the PGA Tour. It's evolved over time, changing sometimes in imperceptible ways, sometimes noticeable, but always maintaining that base he created from his beginnings in golf. I got the Marietta Valley Golf Range. That's where I uh, worked with my coach. He really helped me just kind of learn my own game and uh, didn't force me to learn any particular swing, just let me kind of dig it out of the dirt and learn it on my own. Gets it back into the slot, and releases it beautifully. That homegrown swing made a splash on tour, netting him five runner-up finishes and a win in his four years after turning pro in 2009. Number one for Ricky! In his search for more consistency, he turned to Butch Harmon after the 2013 season and undertook significant swing changes. It definitely came quicker than it has for a lot of guys with swing changes. It's helped me on the health side of things. I'm in a position where I'm swinging better that's a little less stressful on the body and creating actually more power. So all in all, it's been great. He's put himself in better positions here. That is pure rotation right there. 2014, 2015 were great years. 14 outside of the majors actually wasn't great, but finishing top five in all the majors. And then 15, I had three wins. Ricky Fowler owns the 2015 Players' Championship. A huge win to add to his PGA Tour resume. Those were probably some of my better years as far as where I felt with my swing and golf game. After his wins in 2015, Fowler would notch two more the following four seasons, making the Tour Championship all but one of those years. And after Butch began traveling less, he continued with Butch's son, Claude. That went on for a year or so, and then I was just at a point where I just wanted something fresh and new and a tough decision. I mean, I have and still do have a great relationship with Claude, and that's where JT, John Tillery, JT's been great. Trying to get really into his right side and then fire through. It's been fun for me working more just on sequencing and how the body's working throughout the swing and not worrying too much about the actual golf club. If I do kind of the body stuff properly, the golf club is then allowed to go into the right spots. All kinds of power as he just leapfrogs through the hit. He's in a sort of a transition phase. He believes John will, will take him back to where he's playing or above and beyond, and he wouldn't have switched if he didn't think it was for the better. Playing in 14 events last season, he finished 94th in the FedEx Cup. As he implements the new changes he's working on with John Tillery, he remains confident in the end results of the swing he's swinging. That's always just been an evolution over time to try and get the swing to be more efficient. It's been a process and I feel like I may be in or heading to a spot where it'll be the most consistent I've ever been.